Yes, sir. Y'all know the vibes. I'm here. I'm here. Still my little raggedy ponytail. It's Friday. I'm put to turn it on. I'm actually doing a mic test right now because my other mics are dead. But happy freaking Friday, my love. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm sitting over here about to give me a couple pounds of crawfish. Enjoy me a little adult beverage. And just chill with y'all on this hot Friday. So if you're ready for the ride, just type. Oh yeah, cuzzo in the comments right now. Type oh yeah, cuzzo in the comments right now. I want to see the comments flooded with oh yeah, cuzzo. So I'm waiting on my food for my favorite waitress, Mimi. Y'all already know the vibes. And then we get to get into it. So happy Friday. Let's get it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? You gonna say hey? No. Why? <laughs> Got the goods. Y'all already know. Don't be camera shot. Y'all already know. This is my favorite waitress, Mimi. Hey y'all. Hey, Bree see me. Uh, Bree was watching your video. She Bri see me. Yeah. She seen me thinking she might expect me to come in the camera. Period. Y'all know the vibe. Cause when you, you know, how like when you go to your certain restaurant, you have a favorite, you know, what I'm saying yeah. waitress. Me, me, my favorite waitress. So go, let's do it. Cause. <laughs> Yeah, what up, what it is, and what it do, this is your favorite cousin, and I am back with another banger. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. All my cousin OGs, you know what's up. If you are new to this channel, this is what we do. Drop the beat. We made it through the week, ayy. We made it through the week, ayy. It's Friday. I'm fit to turn it up. It's Friday. I'm fit to turn it up. We made it through the week. Happy freaking Friday, my love. Grace, mercy, me, you, big head, me, me, to my left. Oh, well. Babel, it ain't fair. <laughs> What I have prepared for us is just, I just got me a couple pounds of crawfish because just keep it butt with you. I'm not really hungry right now, so I just got me a couple pounds of crawfish. I'm going to go ahead and get the thumbnail. Mm, crawfish looks so good. They do. You want something? Um, you want pee? You want pee? Hey, crawfish. Let me, let, me get this, let me get this close up for you. I feel like you deserve it. You're not worth it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's truly wild. Let me get you that close up for you. Cause... Hell no, you baby. Hell no, baby. Oh, wow. Those are good today. They, uh, you know we got live crawfish now? Really? You can get this right here. All right, because before we get into this good old bite, let's go ahead and get this prep. Where you going? I was going nowhere. I was just moving. Baby, we're right around here, baby. I was going nowhere. God, thank you so much once again for the food trip prepared for my body. Thank you for letting us get through another week, Lord God. As we go through this trying time, just step into the room before we do. So let us know that it's already done. We just come here to say thank you. In your name, I pray. Amen. Because these crawfish are huge. Huge. Do what you do. I'm gonna come down and check on you. Thank you. And they hot. Oh, snizzle. Boy, huh? They hot as a mother. Look at that. They huge. And they hot, cuz. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. You know how, like, when you go to your favorite who, restaurant and your favorite waitress is there, and you're like, I want my favorite waitress, but these are hot. That's why I'm picking them right now, cuz. They fresh. They fresh, baby. They fresh. These are good. Mm. Hold on now. I think Auntie was uh Auntie was pregnant though, ain't it? I bet Auntie. Hold on now, cuz. They did good today, baby. They usually be like frozen, but like she said, they fresh. What I'm hoping and praying, uh, other mics were dead. So I'm hoping and praying is you can't hear that music in the background, because if you can, I gotta dead this whole video. Text Mimi and see if she could turn it down just a little bit more. Cause baby, you two don't play about that copyright strikes. Y'all should know by now that you two don't play by the copyright strikes because look how big those summer guns are. That should be the thumbnail right there. Yeah. So hopefully the music ain't too loud and I can do what it is that I need to do. They got a little zine for the zine to them, ain't they? Cook 
cut, no lie. I think it's the best crawfish I've ever like had from him. Here comes somebody squeaking and pulling up like this. It's like they fresh. But it's kind of like they did boil them in like crab boil or something. I'm truly proud right now. Hold on, see, look at that. Look like Auntie was, was she pregnant? Oh Lord, rest the baby soul. I tell you what, rest they, rest they lit soul. We didn't know. We did not know what was going on because Happy Friday. You know, as always, I hope this video reaches you well. What I don't like about, I love it because they got a patio here. Is that how you like your crawfish? Because y'all be like, cuz, what a season in that cuz. I'll be like, for good crawfish, you don't need no season. I look like somebody's damn uncle right now. I'll tell you what, this hat and this ponytail gotta go. I get my hat done Tuesday. So, we just gotta last until Tuesday, and we're gonna be all right. Mm -mm. Hey, D-Pa! Let me get one of them. One of them drink. Please. You know, I had trouble with that little helper last time, man. I did. Because I'm really facing a phobia right now. Because I usually somebody be out here with me. That's why I bring Angela with me. I'm kind of like distract me from the fact that somebody is actually looking at me right now i want to get out of that and be kill damn free and be like you know what i don't care still all you want i oh, got a job to do who the hell is we that hum over there is truly in a tough situation you my dog for sure i got it i got it i got it you my dog for sure you know my dog for sure. You know my new uncle's a little porch. Oh my god, you got my name. Thank you. He's strict. You need another bucket or you do? Okay. I don't think that's why you still got your thumbs up. Uncle Thursday. I'll tell you what. It's a whole beer sitting right there. I know. I don't want to drink it on camera. You know, I'm, knowing me, I will, but. I mean, they be judging Unk, so I try not to bring, you know, those situations. Unk yeah, Unk do got a bit better than him. People be like, you gaining weight, you gaining weight. It ain't the food. You don't even see me eating the food. It's the, it's the festivities I participated in oh my, my nightlife. God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the participant. But yeah, I'm really like facing a fear right now. This lady is literally like looking at me right now as I participate in my crawfish festivities. And I'm just like, I want to step back. But you know, you gotta be, you gotta be nice. These crawfish are fire. Cause what's your favorite part of the seafood boil? Mine would be like, I told you that. Mine would be the garlic. But anyway, like I was saying, I usually bring Angelo with me to distract me from the fact that people are watching. But of course he got to work tonight, so he's not around. So I'm just out here being the best me that I could be. And I told y'all in my blog yesterday, if you've been watching the vlogs, I'm really like walking around naked. Like my hair's not done. I'm doing stuff out of my element. I just feel like if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die happy. Hell yeah, I am. I'm gonna die doing what the hell I wanna do when I wanna do it. And I think that's a concept we all should start living by. Just doing what we wanna do. And not, what if the world wasn't watching you? Like, what if this lady wasn't watching me right now? Would I be a little bit more comfortable? So I might as well just act, act and pretend like she ain't there and live for me. I always wonder, why do I care so much about people's opinion and stuff? I do. I'm going to keep it a buck. I do. I care too much about what people think of me. And... <laughs> Don't be thirsty. And sometimes it holds me back. It holds me back. And I pray like 
I don't raise my kid like that. I could just raise her. You know how like you deal with childhood trauma and the stuff like your parents have put you through that you'll never ever freaking forget. Like when I was little, I know a lot of people like, cause your hair is fine, your hair is fine. I'll tell you a secret. When I was little, when my hair wasn't calm, my dad used to like, he would like get onto me and he would be like making me not, in other words, he didn't make me feel beautiful when my hair wasn't done. So now in my adult life, I got that same childhood trauma being carried with me when I'm almost 36. So a lot of us are still suffering from some things that we went through in our childhood. And so people could say, cuz you look beautiful, but I, it goes back to that little girl. I don't like the way this is, it all goes back to that little girl where I used to be and my dad used to, he didn't make me feel pretty when my hair wasn't combed. So now I'll be like, am I pretty, yes or no? Am I pretty, yes or no? But that's my truth. I'm just dealing with, you know, healing from, from a lot of stuff from my childhood. But I thank God for my parents because they gave me the best life. But I still deal with some things that I didn't get to deal with in my child as my as a child. That's how I pray for my kid like I'm able to talk to her. Like I can talk to my mom about anything. About anything. Pray my kid is comfortable. Which is coming to talk to me and just let me know what's on her mind and let me know like how she feels and stuff. That's that's really what I pray. Is that, you know, although we, we deal with these things in our adult life, I don't wanna be like a parent that my kid has to heal from. You know? That's just where I am with it. But neither here nor there. You know, cause I've been putting all my lip I I'd be putting all my lip pressure on Yana. I do it. I'm gonna be telling you everything though. I really don't tell y'all ass everything because you knows it. You are. But <laughs> that's like that was my nervous laugh because somebody else just walked by. But it's all good. I'm really like done here. I just came over here to get me a little snack, a little taste. And go on about my business. But I hope you are freaking healing from things that you don't talk about. I do. I'm not you're in a position to just say, you know what? This is who the hell I am. Either people gonna take it or leave it. And if they leave it, it's their loss. It's always their loss. It's, it's not your loss, cuz. Somebody walks out of your life, they no longer wanna deal with you, that's okay. Wish them well, and tell them now. Everything will be fine in your, in, in your in, you know what I'm saying, in, in your life. Because I feel like when God takes a friend or whatever he takes away, he's gonna replace it. So you just have to hold on to that. You have to keep believing in that. And just keep being yourself. But I want to get out of, I just don't know. I don't know what the, in the, in the ass of these prophets here. I do not. I don't know. But I'm truly nervous right now. This lady is still looking at me. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of nervous. I'm actually nervous. A little nervous. But the show goes on. I just want to start living like, Carefree. Carefree. You know? And not giving two dams, my dog. And not not giving two dams about what nobody thinks, my dog. That's for me. You wanna go out porch? No, I just seen your drink. You, you know, you're a nice little waiter. You're the best waiter I've ever had. Are you okay? You okay? E D I T. I But yeah, cuz, I don't know. I know a lot of people might feel the way that I feel like, they feel like you're accomplishing a lot of stuff, but you're not living. I wanna live carefree. And experience shit I ain't never experienced and do things that I ain't never done with people I probably never see again or whatever the case may be. I wanna live and have some freaking fun and make memories, man. I think I've been in my shell too damn long. And every time I say I'm gonna come out of my shell, I don't never come out of that damn shell. I just be out here winging life and still giving a damn about what people think. I don't know. It's just my heart, man. I just, I got a problem with trying to make everybody happy. I'm done here. I'm truly done. I'm truly venting at this point. Yeah, I got a problem with trying to make sure everybody is happy. 
and I don't want to step on anybody's toes and I don't want to disrespect anyone and I don't want to do these things because that's the way I was raised but at the same time it's is there a such thing as two damn knives I'm gonna dig I'm gonna do it auntie and uncle still looking at me and she done bought unky in on the festivities just came here for a Friday chit chat eat me a couple crawfish and I'm about to go pick up my kid and have a nice little day Love y'all from the bottom of my heart. It's not on you. It's in you. It's in you. They can never tell me. This is your favorite cousin. Hey, This is your favorite cousin. Hey, You already know what it is. You already know what it is. Guys, love me. Don't forget to drink with me. This is your favorite cousin. Let's get ting. Welcome to the She Show, ladies and gentlemen. I want y'all to know how hard this video is for me. To be sitting out here by myself. Recording a video. Sometimes I'll do it. And sometimes I'll be truly like. It'd be truly nerve-wrecking for me. I don't know. I don't know. Drop in the comments what we should eat next week. I want to switch some shit up because, baby, listen. Here's the thing in a nutshell. There ain't nothing wrong with a little change. A little razzle-dazzle, you know. A little, a little spark. A little spark. You know, people who don't eat kick, pig feet need to go to hell. They do. But I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Stay true to yourself, cuz. My face is getting chunky, and like I said, it ain't the damn food. It's the festivities I do outside of the damn food. <whistles> you, cuz, do you remember that? I love y'all so much. Have a safe and amazing weekend. Let's get it.